children's classics in dramatic form by augusta stevenson the crow and the fox narrator stage directions ellen preckle madame crow read by rebecca braunert plunkett miss crow read by lydia master fox read by shakira so time yesterday noon place a high tree in a grove madame crow sits in the tree enter miss crow she carries a large piece of cheese in her mouth oh joy oh joy come dear daughter come we'll dine as if we were queen and princess miss crow flies to madame crow enter master fox i bid you good morning dear madam good morning to you dear sir with your permission i'll speak with your daughter she'll be pleased to listen that she will you are so clever nay madam not so clever only thoughtful he sighs deeply twice you have something on your mind <sighs> yes dear madam i am thinking of your daughter then speak speak now sir at once sir i speak oh sweet miss crow how beautiful your wings are do you hear that daughter miss crow nods spreading her wings proudly i speak again how bright your eye dear maid how graceful your neck bend your neck child now bend it well that he may better see your grace miss crow bends neck twice but oh that such a sweet bird should be dumb should be so utterly dumb he weeps gently in his little pocket handkerchief do you think sir she cannot caw as well as the rest of us i must think so dear madam alas weeping again in his little pocket handkerchief you shall think so then no longer caw child caw as you've never caught before opening mouth dropping cheese <coughs> fox quickly snaps up the cheese thank you miss crow remember dear madam that whatever i said of her beauty i said nothing of her brains he goes waving the crows a farewell with his little pocket handkerchief end of the crow and the fox